In this video, I'd like to give you a tour of another one of my favorite ukuleles. This is a vintage ukulele from the 1960s. It's my only soprano uke. It's my only vintage uke. Stick around because I'm going to play some cool jazz music for you by Fats Waller. And maybe you can help me figure out the mystery of this little ukulele that I call Peanut. Welcome everyone, my name is Stu, this is Ukulele Zen. I offer tips, tricks, and play-along videos for your ukulele joy every week. Hope you'll click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You'll keep in the loop every time I put up a new video. Before we get started, I want to ask you, do you have a soprano ukulele? If so, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind you have, what make, what model. Love to know what kind of soprano you're playing. The very first video I made for this channel was a performance of me playing this little ukulele with my old band Babik. We were a gypsy jazz band and you can watch that video at a link in the description below. A few days before that concert was filmed, I was given this, as you can see, this well-loved ukulele. It belonged to my bandmate's wife's grandfather. A few days before the concert, I figured out some tricks and stunts how to play it upside down. I teach that stuff in an extended video. You can see that video lesson in the description as well. This little ukulele, I love it so much because it has such a wonderful sound. just has such a delicate sound, and I think a lot of it has to do with the scale length. This is a very small ukulele, thus the nickname Peanut. Uh, it's only one and two eighths nut, and it's just about 13 inches length. So it's very small. It used to slip off of the suits I would wear when I would perform with Babik, so I put these grip strips on it. This ukulele for many years was my stunt ukulele. And as you can see on my first solo record, um, it is very lightweight flies in the air. I've never dropped it, although Peanut doesn't travel with me anymore. It's, uh, it's been put out to pasture. I love this soprano. Can you help me figure out a little more about it? The label, and I'm going to write this in the description below, the label says, Made in Japan, Barth Feinberg Incorporated, New York. I did a little bit of research and I found out that Barth Feinberg imported thousands and thousands of these ukuleles in the 1960s, but I can't figure out anything about what kind of wood they used and what the bracing pattern is. So if you're very knowledgeable about vintage instruments and ukuleles, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you can help solve the mystery about why this ukulele has such a sweet tone. There's just something about the wood and the bracing that really makes it pop. Like many sopranos, it has 12 frets to the body. Some of Peanut's battle scars include this nice little nick here. I wonder if somebody had long fingernails when they were tuning this, or maybe they tried to use a crescent wrench to turn the tuning pegs. It's got this nice little decal encore on the headstock. You can see it's been strummed with a lot of <laughs> passion on both sides. This bridge has a couple of nice nicks in it. I always have to tie the strings with an extra large knot, my high A and my high G string, just to keep it from popping out of the bridge. It's also got a nice crack here on the back, but that's got nothing to do with me throwing it up in the air all the time, I promise. So all in all, I just love playing my soprano ukulele. There's something about the tone that the small body produces. And there is also something really special about the fact that you gotta cradle it. You really gotta hold this tenderly like a little baby. Those of you who have a little soprano ukulele know exactly what I'm talking about. I've scoped out a couple of affordable sopranos for you to check out. There are links in the description below if you're interested. Right now, I'd like to play a jazz tune. I can't give you anything but love. If you want to learn what I'm about to play, let me know in the comments below and I will make a tutorial very soon to teach you all the details. I play the song with a lot of different chord inversions and I'd be happy to show you what I do. So thanks for watching and hanging out. I appreciate you being here. Hope music is making your day wonderful. Stay healthy, stay well. One, two, three, four. I can't give you anything but love. 
baby That's the only thing I've plenty of Oh baby Just scheme a while Dream a while We're sure to find Happiness And I guess All those things you've always pined for Gee, it's nice to see you looking swell Baby, diamond bracelets were worth dozen sell Oh baby, until that lucky day You know darn well, oh my baby I can't give you anything but love Nice to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond bracelets were what doesn't sell. Until that lucky day, you know darn well. Oh, my baby, why can't give you anything but love? Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Look forward to seeing you in another video soon.